Joining me now to debate this, Independent Women's Forum senior policy analyst Patrice Lee Onwuka and Democratic strategist Robin Byro. Guys, thanks for coming on on this Labor Day. Uh, Patrice, <laughs> we're going to start with you this morning. Um, what did you make of the article? And uh, I, I guess my question would be, you know, everybody talks about collusion with the Russians. Here's, you know, the Democratic Party funding a dossier that used Russian information to get dirt on the president. Uh, and then now you have this. What's your response? <laughs> you know, I thought the article was very interesting in that, um, you know, we're seeing the dirty side of counterintelligence, right? You right. know, U.S. government trying to flip an oligarch. Uh, but at the end of the day, the original question still remains, was there collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government? And that has not been demonstrated. There's no evidence so far. And what's interesting is the very person they were trying to flip, this Russian oligarch, laughed. He called preposterous that uh, Paul Manafort and the Trump campaign was actually working with them and uh, the investigators were not willing to actually sit down and talk with him further about it. Hmm. So that tells you a little bit about you know the motivations behind some of these government officials who were trying to find some sort of evidence of collusion. Right. Robin, your response. Uh, you know, I don't like that this happened when it did. I would have preferred that the, the DOJ handle this themselves rather than this handle happen uh, during the Obama administration. But I think that they were trying to protect, protect uh, you know, in good faith, our democratic process of elections. That's important. Uh, so I'm glad that they were doing that. Uh, you know, there are two very different things here between allegations of Donald Trump colluding with the Russians to swing an election uh, and then trying to get evidence of a crime. Uh, so I, I personally, I just need more information, but I do have my concerns, Rob. Uh, Robin, I mean, do, do you see, I mean, the, the irony here is, is all of this hubbub about this potential Russia, Russia collusion, if I can talk this morning, but you have this dossier that, <laughs> that's funded by Democrats, which is using information from people in Russia and they're talking about things like the president with prostitutes and things that are just very, very oh, yeah. damaging. Salacious things. Yeah, very salacious and very political things. I mean, it's like, I mean, isn't that the same thing that there was? I mean, if, if he's meeting in Trump Tower with a Russian trying to get dirt on Hillary Clinton, I don't see the difference, right. I guess, is the point. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, there are parts of the, the dossier that, that rang true, but there were parts that were just ridiculous and very salacious, and there's no way that we're going to be able to prove those. Uh, you know, and as far as what we know from the FBI, the FBI never gives us information on what what information or evidence they've got, so we just don't know yet. But the, the whole Steele dossier just reeks of something wrong to me. It never has set right with me to begin with, and I'm just calling a spade a spade. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Patrice, over to you. Um, does this show that I guess somebody is probably a bit insecure at this point, either somebody close to Christopher Steele or Bruce Orr likely is the one that leaked this story out, that they were trying to trying to make it look better, that they had been working with this Russian oligarch for a couple years. They were trying to flip him for information. Does this show that there's something that they're trying to try and cover up or they're, they're trying to prove themselves? Well, maybe, but let's let's not forget that we we heard about this story maybe a couple of months ago, maybe back in April, where we were learning just how much the DOJ was relying on Russian oligarchs to try to get information. Yeah. Um, so uh, again, that that the New York Times is coming out with this whole long piece is really trying to uh, be damaging to the to to the Trump campaign, maybe right. or to the Trump administration in general. But this is really not new information when you think about when you go back just a couple of months. What it, what is new here is just the idea of uh, just how high up in the FBI this this entire uh, situation went and and the fact that they continue to rely on these tactics now I'm not I'm not saying that you know use trying to flip bad guys is, is necessarily a bad thing I mean right. maybe there's a way to get right. uh, important course. information but uh, you know uh, to, to suggest that there's some sort of evidence or this is the smoking gun of collusion it yeah. still is not there and you see a lot of legacy media outlets like the New York Times trying to run with this story because we still have yet to see anything that's been a smoking yeah, gun for like 18 months now Robin the last word. Uh, hey, I just want this investigation to come to its logical conclusion. Yeah. Uh, I hope it comes swiftly, and I don't want it to have any effect on the midterm elections because that would be uh, unfair to Americans. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you if it does. All right, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you.